All right, this will be a relatively short video. The first thing I want to cover is I really hope you read the description on the previous video. It's at the very end, I offered a hint about duplication because in my head I was thinking about objects and not curves. And although we can, in this case, duplicate along the Y axis, we cannot duplicate along the X axis because it just makes our object slide along the curve. If you didn't read that, you've probably discovered that and said lots of bad words about me and been very, very unhappy. So you were able to duplicate across, but you would have to redo your curve as you see here for your other uh, opening. I apologize for that. I didn't want to re-record a 20 minute video, especially when we have a 20 minute cutoff and I managed to come in about one second shy of that. I didn't think I could do it that perfectly again. So, in this video, I apologize for that. Again, I hope that you uh, read the description and caught it ahead of time. And then other than that, this video is just going to uh, kind of serve to show how we can take some very simple geometry and really add some depth to, uh, to our scene. So, I'm going to hop into view one. I'm going to make sure that I'm in ortho. I'm also going to hit Z to go to wireframe and I'm going to create yet again another cube. You will find that uh, much of the modeling you do is based around manipulating, manipulating uh, primitive objects a whole bunch of the time, especially if you're an environmental artist. All right, I'm going to scale my cube S along the Z axis, squish it down, And then I'm going to scale it along the x-axis. I'm going to bring it over because I want this to go under here. That's a little bit bigger than I would like. That's pretty good. Then I'm going to hop into 7, my top view. And I'm going to scale this out along my y-axis. And again, we're not going to go much past, just a little. That should do. I will turn off my wireframe and take a look. That's all looking pretty good. And then I'm going to hop into edit mode tab. And I'm just going to put a bit of a bevel on this. Not much, just a little. just to give it a little bit of depth and thickness, which is really what this whole operation is all about. All right, I'm gonna tab back into object mode and I'm going to hit Shift D to duplicate and Z to move it down. I don't wanna move it outside, I want it to remain a little bit inside of this. So that'll do. Then I will tab Actually, I shouldn't even need a tab. I'm just going to uh, scale by hitting S. But this time, instead of hitting an axis, I'm going to hit Shift Z so that I lock out Z, but it works in both my other axes. And I'm just going to pull that out a little bit. That should do rather nicely. Alrighty, I'm going to deselect that. I'm going to go back to 1 again. And I'm going to create another cube. We'll scale this down a bit. And Z to hop into wireframe. Bring this up a little. And I'm going to bring it out. Basically, I'm trying to get happy with this edge right here, which I am. All right, we will hop into edit mode again, tab. I will control tab for edge. I'm going to select my top edge. Just pull that back at an angle. And that's cutting really close there. I want a little more angle. 
So we will tab back into object mode and I'll pull that out just a little more. I'll tab back into edit mode, select faces, select B, and I need to turn that off so that I can select everything. And then again, I'm going to hit a bevel. Control B. Put a little bit of bevel on that. We tab back. And that's a pretty nice look. That really adds a lot of detail for us. So now I'm going to select all three of these. I'm going to go into one and hit Shift D to duplicate and X to move it along that line. And I'm going to do that two more times Shift D and X. Shift D and X. Make a few minor adjustments. Just that I'm happy with the placement. And I am. Alright, and now on our back side, we've already got these in place. If you want to, if you plan on doing a turntable or something down the road, you can duplicate one of these and take it over and rotate it. Uh, for the sake of the animation we'll be doing down the road, we don't need any geometry on that side really. And uh, this is where we will start to learn that all CG is sleight of hand. So if we have a spot where we really don't need geometry, then in the future we're not going to spend too much time creating it. But as I said, if you want to do a turntable in the future so that you can show off your modeling, then by all means, go ahead and duplicate that, bring it over, and match them up on this side. Make everything look good. Let's have a quick look. There, that's really got some depth to it now. We started with a very, very simple shape and with a few tricks and a little work and a few primitives, we have a very nice looking model. So coming along great and I'll see everybody in the next video.